largest lake in Italy, and it helps one of its oldest DOCs it make some fantastic, affordable, and ageable white wines. <laughs> At the foot of Lake Garda, you'll find a family whose love of the land and Lugana has been passed on for generations. Monique, benvenuta. Ah. Che piacere averti a Perla del Garda. Benvenuta. What does this mean? <laughs> Welcome. Ah, It's a thank you. The, ple you. the pleasure us. is mine. This is my winery. It's my family winery. So. I want to introduce you in the cellar. We're in northern Italy in the town of Lonata. I am thrilled to be joined by Giovanna. You've uh, been introducing us to your wines and um, giving us a taste of your property here. Um, I started off saying that your family goes back generations and generations. Will you give us a little brief history about your family? Yes, uh, we deal with agriculture since a long time. Uh, we have been producing milk and olive oil, and uh, in the last uh, 10 years, uh, also wine. And um, I understand you and your brother got made that change back in 2006. Why did you guys decide that it was important for you to produce wine? Because uh, we were very passionate about wine, and uh, we didn't uh, were, we didn't uh, uh, be very happy about selling the grapes. So we decided to build our own winery and to produce uh, our wine. And how's it been going? Very, very well. One of the things in the United States, we are, especially in California, we sort of are having a love affair with all things Italian. And so we love Italy and the United States, and we're always really looking to get our hands on that like next hot Italian wine. And one of the things that I really think is neat about this region that we're in is that you all are making really high quality wines at a, an affordable price. So talk about the wines from Lugana and, and some of the wines that you produce. Yeah, we mainly produce uh, Lugana wines. We are the only one in the area to produce uh, sparkly Lugana, classic style Lugana, Reserva Lugana, and also, and also the late harvest uh, to match with cheese. But we produce uh, sparkling wines as well, made of Chardonnay and uh, red wines. And if someone's never had a wine from this area, from uh, Lugana, let's say, um, what, is, what are some characteristics of the wine? The Lugana wines are very fresh in mouth. You feel your mouth very clean, so you are invited to drink more or to eat more. It's not a boring wine. It's uh, always uh, trying to get uh, a good match with food. It's not a boring wine, it's, it's fun. Yeah, it's a fun, I mean, it's, it's a jazzy wine. We it's try fun. to. Yeah, <laughs> and when we're very close to Lake Garda, uh, talk about the influence of the lake on the, on the wines and the grapes. Yeah, it's very, very important for us because uh, this soil, uh, this terroir is uh, unique in Italy. We could have uh, a very great quality in wines and also in the production of olive oil. And uh, this is uh, for uh, the uh, climatic situation because uh, it is never too hot, never too cold, so we could have a good balance, a good harmony in the production. So we made our way down to your beautiful Barakaya room. Uh, what is happening in this room right now, Giovanna? This is where our wines could sleep and have the right aging in time. We can see behind us is uh, the, uh, obviously the sparkling wine. It's like where the Riddler would go and turn. Tell everyone what's happening with the sparkling wine right now. Yeah, for the sparkling, we have a second fermentation to get the bubbles in. So it's very important to give time to the wine to get more complexity. We leave our Chardonnay 60 months on the lees. So it's very important to get the complexity we are looking for. And do you have a person that comes in and turns it? Yeah, twice a day. Twice, but you do ever do it? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Let 
less than 10 minutes away from Lake Garda, you'll find the Lonado Castle. It was first built in the 11th century. Today, it gets over 40,000 visitors a year. Essentially, the, the mayor of Venice would uh, live yes, here, correct? Yes, yes, it was the house of, yes, the mayor chosen by the Republic uh, and uh, was here, was the seat of uh, the mayor during this period, yes. And I heard there are a lot of books uh, yes. here as well, which we're excited about. Um, Talk about, the, what, what, about 50,000 different books are housed yes. here now? Yes, because the house was restored in the 20th century by the senator, Ugo da Como, and uh, was a bibliophile and collected a lot of, book, of books. So 50,000 of books in our library. And, and have you read them all, Simone? <laughs> How many books have you read? None of them? <laughs> Something. Yeah. This isn't actually a library for people to check out books. Yes. People can? Or yes, no? yes, yes, yes. It's can. open to the scholars. Uh, and oh, so they can. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Wow. Okay. Can, and so people can touch them, uh, or no? With attention, but <laughs> <laughs> very careful. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And those are some books right there. Yes. Right? It's uh, the only one little, little part of the library of the Senate, but there's another building dedicated to the library, the real library. It's uh, that we see. Okay, you're gonna lead us. You lead the way, Simona, to the real library. The smallest book in the world, and you need the smallest little hands and the small little magnifying glass to yeah. read it. Have you actually tried to read that book? No, no you dare not touch it, right? No. <laughs> Okay, only in Italy is this like a starter course. In the United States, this would be the full meal from start to, this is like a Thanksgiving spread for us in the US. I wanna start off talking about the red wine. It's from the Garda region. Will you tell us about the red wine that you produce? Yeah, this is uh, Terre Lunari. It's uh, a wine uh, that is uh, very fresh in mouth. Uh, we are on the hills, so we have a very good minerality in the wines, so it's in the red wines. And this wine is made of uh, Merlot, Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc. We don't use uh, oak, uh, we, so it's very fresh in mouth. Beautiful, you yeah, like really it? fresh, uh, very, very lively. And uh, talk about some of the meat. So what would this wine, we're looking at the smorgasbord on the table. Does this wine pair with anything that we have on the table or is this main, mainly for our main course? No, I mean, uh, you could match it also with the uh, salame, with uh, the coppa, they are very typical of Brescia, of Lake Garda area. And uh, so you could match also the wine with appetizers without uh, having a lunch or a dinner with too much uh, food. So you could uh, also match it with a steak. It depends, it's a, a very good possibility in uh, matching also with food. Yeah, late harvest is made of uh, Lugana grape, so it's very typical, it's the indigenous grape of the area, and uh, we only have uh, stainless steel tanks vinification in order to save the freshness. We want a sweet wine, but not uh, too sweet. And this is something that is, you have that little touch of um, sweetness, but it isn't overbearing, it isn't overpowerful, and it's really, it's a nice balance for sure. Yeah, it's very important to match cheese without covering the flavor, the aroma of the cheese. So Lugana is uh, very respectful. <laughs> respectful, I like that. And another thing that you have small production is olive oil. And I was told that the Garda olive oil, am I saying this correctly? Gar Garda, you say it so nice, I'm trying, so American of me. Is a very, and I tasted some, it's a very high quality olive oil and really well renowned in Italy and, and around the world. Yeah, yeah, it's very delicate and we have uh, the same philosophy we have uh, for wine. So we don't buy fruits uh, from other producers. We only use uh, our uh, olives. Do you have a 
a cheers or a toast something that you say? Yes, we say salute or annoy. 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 What does annoy mean? Uh, for us. For us. Annoy. <laughs> annoy. Everyone, annoy. Oh.